Today I will teach you how to make a simple state machine. So about two weeks ago I made a zombie wandering tutorial and um, if you want to expand that uh, with a state machine where you can wander and maybe attack or something I will teach you a simple state machine today so that will be very easy for you. In, in my project here I just have one sprite so we can create an empty game object. Right click, create empty, make sure this is reset. This can act as a player and we want to add a sprite renderer. Let's drag this here. It can be It can be dark like this. Moving up here. Okay. So right click again, create empty, reset. You can call this enemy. Sorry. Add a sprite render here as well. So this will act as our enemy and uh, this as our player. So we need a script. You can call this enemy state machine new create an add open it up okay so we need some variables here so public float speed public float range public float max distance public float uh, i don't think we need that now let me see and we need a public transform player and uh, say private vector 2 waypoint and now we're gonna build the state machine so we use something called enum and the way to do it is like this public enum we can call this enemy state and we need curly brackets then the first state can be wonder and the, the other can be attack and then we say nothing and it should look like this okay so under this we say public enemy state enemy state okay so we need a function for our wonder state so say void set new destination and in here we can set the waypoint to new vector to random range between minus max distance and max distance then we want the same here So now when the game is starting, set new destination, so you know where to go. This is just some random points that updates. Go to update. So now let's get the state machine working. So we have a switched statement and we switch between enemy states like this. So the first state we can say case enemy state dot wonder colon and we can say break then we want another state this can be the attack state and a third this can be nothing nothing will happen so you can have how many you want here Wonder, wonder, attack, uh, maybe fall back, maybe jump around, or whatever. When you're wandering around, we want him to move. So in here, we can say transform dot position vector two dot move towards from 
transform that decision to the waypoint that's being random speed and time but delta time if he if he's close to the waypoint we want him to go to a new place so we make a new random place like if vector two dot distance uh, transform dot position where we are and between that and the waypoint if that's less than range range is here we're gonna set it up in unity later we want a new destination so just set up a new destination we're calling this function here and we want something more we want to say if input dot get key key code dot just say whatever you want here thinking j time so if we press j enemy state equals enemy state dot Attack. Okay, so this will make the state jump to the attack state, and um, when you're making your game, maybe you want to say if the distance between um, the enemy and the player, instead of input get key key code J. So if he's close enough, he will attack the player. Otherwise, you're just wondering. So, but for now, we just have key code dot j, and we can also set up an if input dot get key key code dot k maybe uh, enemy. Enemy state. Enemy state dot nothing. And you probably do not have nothing as a state in your game. Just to show you different states here. Okay, so in the attack state, we want to um, move. To the player for now. So transform dot position equals vector two dot move towards from our position to the player player position speed delta time and then uh, in here we can say if input dot get key key code dot h enemy state enemy state wonder oh is this okay and we can go to nothing from here as well so here uh, you go from attack to wonder so maybe in your game you can have if uh, vector 2 dot distance between the player and um, the enemy is more than range instead of less than range and he's going back to wandering but for now just input get key code in here we can just have a debug now uh, doing nothing for now okay let's see i think this is all we need 
save this, go back to Unity, and we can set the speed here to range 0.1 maybe, and fire. Okay, and we need a player. Drag your player here. Let's test this out. Okay, you can see you have the wandering here. And if I press J, he's attacking the player. H, he's wandering again. And uh, you can see here when I press J, attack, H, wander. We have K, nothing. We can check the debug. Doing nothing for now. So this is working fine. Okay, one thing I missed. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, stop this. Go back to your script. You can see here. We have no way to go back to the other state, so. In our case, we could just go like this. And we have KH, we need J as well. So, okay, this is working now, I will show you. If we go to nothing with K, and before we couldn't go back to something, but now J, attack, H, K, J. Now everything's working, and um, this is maybe boring to just have this like this, but uh, as I explained, you can just say if close enough to the player, far away from the player, or whatever you want. But this is a very simple state machine, so I hope you like it. And if you like this, I hope you consider to subscribe or maybe just hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and see you!